I'm having a deja vu, Charlie. I think that's it's a very going. good sign. It's still, it's still going. going. Okay, this is Charlie yes. Cooter from still? Generis. Not now. It's we have speed. That was pretty long. But Charlie was here. I saw the flowers. You and I talking about this movie. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so how does Hazel's impact or illness impact her relationship with Franny and Michael? Is it a different sort of um, parent-child dynamic? You know, it's first off, what's beautiful about how John has written this family is that, you know, the, the respect that John gives uh, a teenager as a writer is the same respect he offers the parents giving their daughter. And there is a mutual bond of friendship and a real peer group feeling about these three. Um, so you know that that's their experience. That's how they, that's their language together. Now, they've been given this diagnosis and they've got to normalize their experience, but they're clearly a family that say everything, that talk about everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's really amazing to consider them navigating this illness while also being fiercely honest and open with each other. Yeah, and, and I imagine before the diagnosis, um, I imagine it's kind of brought us closer together. Uh, and. It's also created these agendas because we have to, we want to, in a very casual way, kind of give her everything that she needs to li have the best life that she can mm -hmm. and also to keep her healthy. You know, we want her to exercise and to go outside. And then on her side, you know, Shailene's side, she's got this sort of agenda of not wanting, of, of wanting us to have, you to have other interests, you know. So there are these interesting kind of things that we're keeping secret, but they're all for the good of the other people. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, there's a lot of compassion that's, that's created because mm -hmm. of it. And in the film, your daughter has cancer and some of the other principal characters have cancer, but it's not a movie about cancer. Do you want to elaborate on that? Well, what's amazing is all of us now know cancer. We've had some experience of it or know someone who has walked through that diagnosis. And yet the film is about love. The film is about uh, a fearlessness that it takes to love knowing that you may lose love. Um, and losing love and grief come in so many different ways for all of us, but it's inescapable for all of us. Mm -hmm. So the fact that he's captured a shared experience, um, the diagnosis isn't what the film is about, but the experience of how to have gratitude mm -hmm. in a life with any diagnosis, with any trauma, with any pain. And also, uh, what kind of life do you want to lead? And what kind of life do you want to live? When you start the film off with the, the, the main characters who are young, having, knowing that they have a limited amount of time to, you know, to live, you, know, you get these questions about how do you want to be remembered? Um, how, how do you want to love? Do you want to live, love deeply or widely? Do you, you know, do you have the courage to fall in love when you know you're going to be hurt? So it's really the cancer is a, obviously sort of at the base of it, but it allows all these other questions to bubble up and, and be explored. And so it's a really like philosophical movie and it's a love story obviously as well. Mm -hmm. So you mentioned love as something that like everyone can relate to. Are there any other things in the film that make it a film for all audiences? I think that, you know, John Green's philosophical uh, discussion about being in the moment and finding beauty in small things uh, is for all of us and is such a shared longing that we all have to wake up each day and celebrate this day. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it seems to be the hardest thing for almost all of us to do and yet every day we're presented with this same challenge mm -hmm. and uh, I think that's why it is so universal. Yeah, and it's read, but I mean, when I read it, I didn't see it as a young adult novel at all. Uh, it's very complex and the, the, the ideas are really mature. And, uh, and so our generation loves this book. I know my mother's generation loves this book. Uh, it's, it's just a, a beautiful love story that, that uh, I think everybody can relate to. And, and for parents specifically to have a forum to talk about things maybe they can't have access to with their teenager. Mm -hmm. And the fact that, I mean, just being the parents in the movie to consider that this is a shared experience, uh, going to a movie and having dialogue afterwards that maybe you've never brought up as a family. 
So it's really cool to think about how many people mm -hmm. will be able to share together this movie. Yeah, it just it feels like a communal experience and, 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 uh, and definitely a movie to see in theaters because uh, what we experienced at that screening uh, last night was just, just this outpouring of emotion uh, and you know sorrow and joy, and, but just people feeling free to, to be vocal about how they felt, which was so awesome. You know, and, and the movie ends, and they just feel so much love. Mm -hmm. They're talking about how this mm -hmm. is the greatest thing in my life. Mm -hmm. This is, you know, just that. And you can't believe what the movie is about and how you're left with such yeah, it's, you longing left, left, to live. Yeah, it's inspiring. It's, you yeah. know, it's, it's, uh, and, and it leaves you kind of giddy about life, which is kind of fascinating. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank, right. you. thank you. All right, have a good festival.